History was made Friday, February 25th, when President Joe Biden nominated Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. Hello? Judge Jackson? Yes. Well, I'd like you to go to the Supreme Court. How about that? Sir, I would be so honored. Well, I'm honored to nominate you. She will become the first black woman to hold such an esteemed position. President Biden made a vow to create a court that looks like the country, and this nomination has the potential to do just that. This is a moment of supreme importance. Judge Jackson is a graduate of Harvard University Law School, where she served as an editor for its prestigious law review. What really separates Judge Jackson is the lens through which she views the law and the perspective it brings. She's the daughter of public school educators who grew up during the era of Jim Crow and both went on to attend prominent historically black colleges. As a recent New York Times op-ed states she comes with unique perspectives and experiences as a former public defender, as a member of the United States Sentencing Commission, as a Southerner, and as a black woman that have shaped her vision of the law in ways that are underrepresented, to put it mildly, on the current court. Judge Jackson's background and experiences will lay the foundation for how she will approach the cases brought before the court, challenging her colleagues to think outside of the box. If confirmed, at the young age of 51, she will be paving the way for black women and black girls to continue to reach higher all the way to the Supreme Court of the United States of America.